fellow collectors, I decided to go on a short little hunt today. It is Sunday morning at, what is it, 9.30 in the morning, and I'm going to be hitting up a few stores and starting at Target. I heard that Target is starting to get some of the X-Men Marvel Legends in. saw a couple YouTubers uh, that found uh, brand new cases over at Target, so I'm going to try and get the Deadpool there. Um, if not, I'm looking for the Iceman, Havoc, and Kitty Pride still to finish my juggernaut. And then I'm gonna stop at uh, Meyer, uh, which if you're not in the Midwest, Meyer is like a, another department store like Walmart or Target. I'm gonna go to Meyer, see what they have. I'm gonna go to Walmart, see if they have the Dr. Harleen and or the Joker in the suit. Very doubtful that I'm gonna find those, but you never know. Um, and then I'm gonna end my hunt today at Barnes and Noble. I'm gonna see if they still have some of the um, summer exclusives at Barnes and Noble. There was one that I didn't pick up and I kind of, Wanted for some reason. It's the um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory Violet Beauregard purple uh, violet from that one. I want that pop for some reason. So apparently my storage was full on this iPhone and it cut out on me in mid sentence, but uh, I deleted a bunch of stuff and now I'm recording again. Yay! And I just finished at Target. So that was my first stop and I had some uh, pretty good success there. No Deadpool, obviously, because I'm never gonna find that sucker in the wild. But I did find Kitty, and I found Havoc in the wild at Target. Purchased, so now I have uh, two more to go towards my Juggernaut. All I'm missing right now to complete him is Iceman. And I've seen him around at a few stores, so I'm uh, confident that I'm gonna be able to um, finish him pretty soon but uh, yeah good uh, good success at the first stop got my X-Men Legends going to Meyer now to see what they have they usually have nothing at all but it's worth checking out and then I'm gonna go to Walmart and then I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble and I'm all done at Meyer they didn't have much in the way of figures or pops uh, they did have a uh, shredder pop from turtles, but and that's becoming increasingly hard to find But I already have it so didn't get anything there, but I did buy a game uh, I do play video games. I have an Xbox one and uh, they had this The Phantom Pain it's a Metal Gear game. They had this for half price uh, Normally like 40 bucks, but it was like $20 so and I looked it up on game rankings and it's like a 90% on game rankings and uh, one of the reviews said that it's an open world Metal Gear game. So they kind of got me with that. Just the fact that it's open world, non-linear. You can play any missions that you want. Uh, you can go guns blazing, you can go stealth. I kind of like that idea, so um, I picked that up. I'm gonna play it and see how uh, I like it. But uh, last, not last stop, I still have to go to Walmart and then I'm going to Barnes & Noble. So see ya at Walmart. So as you can see uh, from the video there, the Legends and Pop selection at this Walmart are lacking, to say the least. Uh, I did pick up a couple things though. I do collect the three and three quarter inch Black Series Star Wars figures. Uh, I don't collect the six inch really anymore, but the three and three quarter I still like. So I got Finn, Finnegan, Jakku, and I got Poe Dameron. I've been kind of uh, stalling on buying these for a while. They've been sitting on the shelf, as you can tell from the condition of the boxes, they've been sitting on the shelf for quite some time. So I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on them. Um, finally got them, but uh, still need the, uh, what's his face? Kylo Ren and Rey. But uh, yeah, so that's what I got. Barnes and Noble's next, see ya. So all done at Barnes and Noble and it was a bust for me, unfortunately. Um, they did not have Violet in stock. I waited too long. They had like four of them on their shelf for the longest time. But uh, they're down to uh, two of the Strawberry Shortcake Pie Man. Um, but that's all they had as far as the exclusive pops go. Uh, I'm gonna try a different Barnes & Noble. I'm going up to uh, Columbus, uh, Ohio for work uh, tomorrow and Tuesday. So I'm gonna try Barnes & Noble up there and see if they have um, Violet and maybe even Newt. I think Newt's probably cleaned out by now, but I didn't get him when he came out. I don't know. I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, but 
I kind of want to, uh, the completist in me wants to get all of the Barnes & Noble exclusives, so uh, we'll see. They did have um, all three of the mystery boxes, and it was weird because I was looking at the mystery boxes, and they had like a stack of maybe six of them. They had uh, a set of two for each A, B, and C, and I went to uh, look around some more, and I was looking on my phone as to the contents of A, B, and C to figure out what's in each of them. I know that they have that glow-in-the-dark killer croc in each of them, but I wanted to find out what else is in each of those that makes them unique. Uh, and then I came back, and I was kind of having second thoughts, should I get one, should I not, they're $30. And then by the time I came back, all six were freaking gone. So I don't know if like an employee moved them, uh, or if someone bought all six mystery boxes, but I don't know, I've, I didn't pick one up right away because Basically, the only good thing in there to me, and I've seen reviews on YouTube, the only good thing is that Killer Croc. So $30 for a Killer Croc, it seems a bit excessive. Um, I know there's other stuff in there, but it's, it's mostly like overstock kind of stuff. I know there's like a rocket pop, but uh, I don't know. I'm not too upset that I missed out on him if someone did clean him out and buy all six mystery boxes, but um, that was my hunt for today. Pretty happy with what I found. Um, Got two of the X-Men Legends. Uh, Juggernaut can finally stand up. He's got both legs now. Now that I got Havoc and uh, Kitty. And I uh, just need Iceman to fix to finish my Juggernaut. Need the Deadpool. I don't know if I'm ever gonna find him. But uh, pretty happy with what I got. And I'm excited to play this game. Uh, Metal Gear, what's it called? The Phantom something. The Phantom name, Pain, Game. I have no idea. But that's, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you're interested and like the video if you like what you saw and have a good day.